Hi guys. So today we'll be looking at the Cartesian product of sets. So the Cartesian product of sets usually have um, two or more sets that of course are multiplying. Then you have to find um, uh, the product. So um, the definition is simply that uh, for all ordered paired sets, which is X and Y, this is such that X belongs to set A and Y belongs to set B. In other words, we're saying that if you have uh, a paired set like this one, the first uh, value or element belongs to the first set, the second element belongs to the second element. So for example, uh, we've been given that set A has 1 and 2, set B has 3, 4, 5. If we want to find the Cartesian product of A and B, the value of A or the element of in A must, must be multiplied with every element in B. By multiplied, in this case, we're just talking about being paired. So, 1 will be paired with 3, 1 will be paired with 4, 1 will be paired with 5. This is what we have here. 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5. Then, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5. Such that, if you look at what we have here, every element that we have appearing first in these products belongs to set A. And every element appearing second in these sets belongs to set B. That's why it's called uh, the product, because you have uh, two elements from two sets um, forming uh, the Cartesian product as it is. So let's look at uh, an example. Let's look at uh, this example here that we have. So in this example, we have been given set A, which is 1, 2, 3, and we'll be given set B, which is A, B. So you look at, uh, we have different elements, these are numbers, letters, and we have X, Y, Z over there. So now, what we're looking for is the Cartesian product of, we'll start with A times B. How can we find the Cartesian product of A times B? So remember to do that, we say that finding the Cartesian product of A times B, the elements in A must multiply every element in B. So A times B, let's go ahead with it. So every element in A times every element in B. So that's 1 times A, 1 times A, then 1 times B. So 1 times A, 1 times B. Then we move on to 2 times A, 2 times B. Like that. Then we have 3 times A, and lastly 3 times B. So this gives us the set the Cartesian product of A and B. Now what we have here is the product of B and A. So the product of A and B and B and A are not the same. And you see why? In this one, we are starting with the elements in B. So meaning that the first element in B is A being paired with the first element in A, which is 1. B is A being paired with 2. B is A being paired with 3. Then now move on to the next value or the next element in set B. So B will be paired with 1, B will be paired with 2, and B will be paired with 3. So if you look at these two sets, they're not the same. Because in the first one, the first element represents elements in set A. In the second one, the first element represents elements in set B. Let's find the product of C and uh, B. So we start with the first element in C, which is X. So we we'll have X multiplying with A, X multiplying with B. So X times A, X times B. Then we move on to Y times A, Y times B, just like that. So Y times A, Y times B. Move on to Z. So Z times A, Z times B. So that's the product. Now, let's have a scenario where a set with three elements is multiplying with another set with three elements. So what will happen here will be we want one to multiply everything. So that's one times X, one times Y, and one times Z. Like that. Now we want 2 to multiply everything, so it will be 2 times x, 
2 times y, 2 times z, like that. Now we want uh, 3, multiply everything. So we have 3 times x, 3 times y, sorry, not times, supposed to be a comma, and lastly, 3 times z, like that. So this is it. So you should have three, 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 nine. Um, should have nine elements. Now, to know the number of elements each set should have, if you look at A times B, in A we have three, in B we have two. Three times two is six, hence it has six elements. So this is a three times three, hence it has nine. Now, what about the scenario where you have A times B times C? How can we find the set A times B times C? Very easy. This is what we're going to do. So since we're starting with A, we're going to say, what's the first element in A? One. What's the first element in B? A. What's the first element in C? X. Like that. Then, we're still on the first element in A and B. So we'll have one comma A comma Y. Then we're going to have 1 comma a comma z. So this is 1 comma a comma x, just like that. Then from there now, we are done with 1 a, we should move on to 1 b. So we should have 1 comma b comma x, then 1 b y, then 1 b z. Okay, now remember for this one, we have 3, 2, 3. So 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 3 is 18. So we need 18 elements. So let's create all the 18 elements. Okay, so now we're done with 1. Remember this was just 1, 1a, one 1a, one 1a, one then 1b, 1b, 1b. Now let's go to 2a, 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 2b, 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 just like that. So the next element will be 2a, x two a y two a z so we're done with two a so move on to two b x two b y and lastly two b z so in any set in any element in this set that you might pick, for example, randomly, maybe this one, 1by, one, one, one belongs to A, B belongs to B, Y belongs to C. That's the idea. Now, let's create the third one. It's 3A, 3B. So, the first one will be 3AX, 3AY, 3AZ. Then we have 3BX, 3BY, and lastly, 3BZ. Then we can close it. So now we have the full 18 elements in this set. Because we have 6, 6 there, and uh, 6 at the bottom. Putting them together, you get 18. So this is how you solve questions under the Cartesian product. Now, um, just one more example. I want to show you that, uh, remember question A and B, we said AB is not equal to BA. So, I have this example here with me. The example says, um, if the set D, set D is this, set E is this, prove that, hmm, prove that the product of these two and the product of these two are not the same. So, this is just right what? Because what we need to do here is, we need to create this set dx, sorry, de and ed. And then we just show that they're not the same. Then um, that's it. So let's start with uh, de. So d times e. Okay, let me do this. So d times e. So 1a, 1b, 1c, what's like that? So 1a. 1B, 1C. Then now move on to 
to to A to B to C. Move on to three. Three A three B three C. Move on to four. Four A four B and lastly four C. So we have 12 of them because 4 times 3 of course is 12. Now this is a uh, G times E. Let's find E times T. So of course they cannot be the same because in this case, uh, no, it's a first multiplication. In this case, the elements will be starting with uh, the ones from set E. So we have A1, A2, A3. A4. The first element is paired with everything there. Then we move on to B1, B2, B3, B4. Then lastly, C1, C2, C3, and lastly, C4. Then we close the set. So, of course, it's clear that these two are not the same. So this is how the product of um, sets is done. Thank you very much.